Jumping forward to 2003, I think you'd, you'd won the Welsh that season, you got to the semi-finals of the world. It probably, in your mind, wasn't an, a great season, but you're on your way back from Hong Kong and your queue gets broken. Do you remember kind of the moment when you were kind of told that and what had happened? Yeah, I mean, it was actually Thailand. Um, I, 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 was, um, I checked my queue in at, at Bangkok Airport. Um, after 9-11, we couldn't take the queues on board anymore. We had to put them in the hold. So, um, so yeah, I flew back from, from, from Bangkok uh, to Glasgow or Edinburgh, I can't remember, via London. Um, but I remember getting off the plane in London and, and someone from the airport, an official from the airport, saying your, part, your luggage had been damaged. So I'm thinking, well, what is it? Is it my suitcase for queue? And I said, what is it? The he says, yeah, I think it's your, your snooker queue. So like, now I've got to get a flight, hang around Heathrow, then get a flight to Scotland and wait. Um, the guy didn't know how, how damaged it was. And then, then yeah, so I, I get into Edinburgh Airport, and then it comes around the carousel in, in two pieces. And do you think you must have been felt sick to your stomach? You must have just... Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my, my career's over. That was my first thought. Was it? Yeah, it it's was only queue I ever dramatic. had. It's only queue I'd ever had, and it was such a crap queue yeah. that you think, you know, in, in terms of, you know, you look at queues now; they're all handmade, and you know, you can get a queue, and it's like five, six hundred pounds. It's like, the, the, you know, the wood, everything's like made for you. This was just something I seen in Iraq in a club and got for forty quid, um, and uh, you know, it was it was bent. It was, you know, Alex Higgins once looked at it and says, you won't think that's good for it. says, holding up tomatoes <laughs> in the greenhouse. So I like everyone that picked it up, that was a rubbish queue, but it was, it was my queue and it was what I won all the titles with. And so do you think that had an effect? Um, it's, it, it shouldn't really have an effect. I mean, it, it's, it does have an effect, obviously. Um, a queue becomes like an extension of your arm, uh, especially a queue as unique as mine was. Um, but then it, it shouldn't really matter. You should, you should be able to focus and get used to a new cue and be able to play snooker again. Um, and, I, and I did win, I think I won another five or six titles mm. with, with, with a new cue. Um, but, so you um, did get it repaired though, didn't you? But it just it, never, it, never it felt the same? I couldn't use it, yeah, I couldn't use it. Yeah, it was, um, it was, it was un because the, I think because of the cue, the wood was such poor quality that um, yeah. Laurie Annandale, who who done all my tips through my career, he, he put a new button, button to the queue and it's, uh, it did, the balance was just completely shot. Mm. Wow. But I, I did also read that it was probably the... You'd nearly lost it in 1990. You had it stolen, didn't you? Mm. At the Grand Prix? Stolen, the, yeah, stolen from the um, Ramada Hotel in Reading, wow. uh, playing the Grand Prix. I, I, I and that was out. very early in your career. Yeah, that yeah, that was... Um, yeah, yeah, very, very early on. I was, I was due to play John Wright in the first round, and uh, it was, a, it was a private room in the hotel which they put a practice table in. And I basically just went and nipped out for a coke, came back ten minutes later, and it was gone. So uh, my manager put up a reward. Yeah, and it, it was found in a, a bin somewhere. So, you, so they never, no one ever claimed the reward. No, because I think mm -hmm. it, I read it was ten thousand pounds at the time. Yeah, it yeah. been a lot of money. In a lot of money. Yeah, the police weren't happy about it. Um, putting up the reward, but uh, but yeah, just it turned up. It was very very lucky. Well, thank so, goodness it did because yeah, John Wright wasn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Well, let's hope uh, we see you back lifting trophies. Hopefully, it'll start with the UK this week. Can't wait.